Um, yes, we, we changed the format of our session. We didn't have papers. Um, we had question and answer. So we, our first point was that it's a shame to use all this millions of gallons of aviation fuel in the age of the internet system is not a shame. So we tried to get questions and discussions. So I think that was quite a lively uh, session. Um, one of the things that floated out of our debates and discussions was the question of definition. And we thought that at the moment, victory is not nature, education, heritage, tradition, uh, the creative economy, creativity. And so we thought we have uh, culture at the moment means everything, like the coalitions and gets our politics, but it's also in danger of meaning the um, second point was that uh, the idea of being we're given questions about why is it that we should fund what is it you will do as uh, a cultural activist, cultural economist, activist, uh, in, in situations of poverty and war, really serious questions. And all the panelists have been involved in these questions for a long time. Everybody gave quite passionate answers about it. One of the things that I think came out was yes, culture can be instrumental as long as it's accepted on its own terms. It can deliver great filmmaking, musician, people working in craft sets. Yes, it can deliver to a social and economic agenda, which is not to respect on its own terms. Um, that. We also talked a lot about the creative economy, the cultural economy. In some way, more coming before. And uh, we felt, all of us again were involved in it, but we felt it is not a sort of rather, it's not the solution. Secondly, there are big problems in the creative economy. There's lots of exclusion, there's lots of inequality, very much right towards the north, uh, there's a lot of exploitation, the revolution in digital technology. So there are big problems which we must look at in a very clear and clear way. So it's not a replacement for the supervised sector, nor is it going to be a replacement for the rest of the economy. For the part, it's not a replacement. Um, the last point, uh, the second to the last part, was really about we don't want to, many people wanted to resist the idea of creating the economy as a reduction of culture. And, and I think we wanted to say the opposition of the problem, raising problems with the great economy didn't come just from some idea of pure culture. That it had problems actually for a very, a very real and everyday culture. Um, so we, we, we could, we're not using a great culture that can't be pure culture, that can't be dirty by the economy, but there are really there are big problems. And that actually, there's no such thing as pure economy. We all talk about should we relate, are we economic, how are we economic, in what way are we economic? And we thought we should say, well, what is the economy? Who's constructed the economy? And so if we do want to create an economy, a cultural economy, it's about reconstructing that economy on our terms to make it serve human values. And doing that is political. Very impolitical media will cause tensions and, and troubles, and we must face them, otherwise, we risk the 